Did you know about the recent aggressive actions of Chinese fighter jets in the South China Sea? Let's delve into the escalating tensions that have been making waves. Recently, there have been several incidents where Chinese fighter jets have aggressively harassed U.S. planes. This is not a one-off event but a series of actions that have been raising eyebrows and concerns alike. The first instance witnessed Chinese jets maneuvering dangerously close to U.S. planes, causing alarm among international observers. The second incident was a blatant violation of international norms, with Chinese jets crossing into restricted airspace. In the third and most recent encounter, Chinese jets displayed an alarming level of aggression, flying threateningly close to U.S. aircraft. These incidents are not isolated. They are part of a rising tide of tension in the South China Sea, a region that has long been a flashpoint for conflict. The aggressive actions of the Chinese fighter jets are not just a threat to the U.S., but to the stability of the entire region. The South China Sea, no stranger to conflict, has become a boiling pot of tension once again. But what exactly happened during these incidents? Let's delve into the details, shall we? In the first incident, a pair of Chinese J-11 fighter jets approached a U.S. Navy P-3 Orion surveillance plane. The Chinese jets flew within 100 feet, executing risky maneuvers that threatened the safety of the U.S. crew. The Orion was conducting routine operations in international airspace, making the aggressive approach a clear violation of international aviation norms. The second incident involved a U.S. Air Force RC-135 reconnaissance plane and a Chinese Su-30 fighter jet. The Su-30 flew inverted, directly above the U.S. plane, an audacious act that flouted not just safety protocols but also the principles of professional airmanship. The RC-135 was operating in accordance with international law, making the Chinese jet's actions all the more provocative. The third incident was perhaps the most alarming. A pair of Chinese J-10 fighter jets intercepted a U.S. Navy EP-3 Ares Signals reconnaissance plane. One J-10 flew directly in front of the U.S. plane, conducting multiple high-speed passes and forcing the EP-3 to take evasive action. This incident, like the others, occurred in international airspace, underscoring China's blatant disregard for established aviation rules. In all these incidents, the Chinese fighter jets acted aggressively, breaching international laws and norms that ensure safe and professional conduct in the skies. Their actions not only endangered the U.S. air crews, but also undermined the principles that govern peaceful coexistence among nations. These incidents not only violated international norms, but also escalated tensions to a dangerous level. So, what could these aggressive actions mean for the global community? Let's delve into this. The potential implications of these incidents are far-reaching, to say the least. For starters, U.S.-China relations, already strained, could take a further hit. The delicate dance of diplomacy becomes even more precarious when military jets start playing chicken in the sky. Then there's the reaction of other countries in the South China Sea region. These nations are no strangers to China's assertiveness, but this recent escalation could force them into a corner. Will they bow to pressure, or will they rally against it? The risk of an escalating military conflict can't be overstated either. A game of brinkmanship in such volatile circumstances could trigger a chain reaction, sparking conflicts that could engulf the region and potentially the world. But the implications don't stop at the region's borders. These incidents could have a ripple effect on international laws and norms. The freedom of overflight is a cornerstone of international law. If one country can flout it so openly, what's stopping others from following suit? And then there's the potential response from international organizations like the United Nations. These institutions were built to prevent exactly this kind of aggression, but their response, or lack thereof, could either reinforce their relevance or underscore their impotence in the face of a changing world order. These incidents have sent shockwaves across the globe, raising serious concerns about the future of peace and stability in the region and beyond. It's clear that the world is watching and waiting to see what happens next in the South China Sea. In conclusion, the actions of the Chinese fighter jets have drawn global attention to the South China Sea. We've explored the rising tensions, detailed the incidents, and pondered over the global implications. These acts of aggression underline the gravity of the situation and the potential repercussions. They highlight the need for clear boundaries and a strategic framework to address these actions. The South China Sea, a once tranquil expanse, is now a significant hotspot in global geopolitics. As we continue to monitor the situation, one thing is certain, 
the South China Sea has once again become a major flashpoint in global geopolitics. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful